Hello, welcome back. In today's lesson, I am going to show you how to use the Spot Healing Brush to take out blemishes or acne of the face of a model. Now, the Spot Healing Brush is a default healing tool in Photoshop, which is used to clone areas from an image and blend the pixels from the sampled area similarly with the target area. The basic principle is that the texture from the sample area is blended with the color surrounding wherever you paint. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. With our image file open, the first thing we are going to do is to create a new layer, clicking on the new layer icon. And I'm going to name this spots. And what I'm going to do from here is pick up my spot healing brush. And I want to make sure that the type says content aware, which will help us do the sampling around the area to apply to hide our spots and blemishes. You want to make sure that the mode says normal. With our layer selected, I am going to begin to paint over the area where all the spots are. Now, what we want to do is get rid of the big ones first. What I forgot to tell you is that you want to minimize your brush head a little to fit the size of the acnes that you want to get rid of, all the blemishes. So as you can see, most of the big spots have been taken care of. You see a few in this area. I'm going to take care of those. This is no acne, but I feel we can get rid of that. Why not? So now that we have most of it taken care of, I'm going to increase my brush head just a little, keep it soft, and we are just going to finish it off. And within a few minutes, you're going to see the before and after. You'll be amazed at the dramatic change. We are basically done. I can keep going on and on and refining, but as you can see, this is way better than what it was before. So we have the before and after. So what I'm going to do now to finish it off is that we need a little bit more redness in the skin. So I'm going to pick up my hue saturation and it will generate a layer for me, which will be applied to the image below. So I'm going to increase the redness just a little. I'm going to take it back. Also, I'm going to select levels and I'm going to play around with it a little so I can get some richness in the skin tone. And I think that we are good. Um, I'm going to show you the before and after. But to do that, I'm going to group all the layers, leaving the background layer. So I'm going to click on my shift, holding it down. I'm going to select the rest. And I'm going to go down to the group icon. Click on that. Or you can also type with on your keypad, Control G, and it will group everything for you. So now we're going to look at the before and after of the finished product. So this is the before and this is the after. I'm going to do it again. This is the before and this is the after. You can see a dramatic change. This you can do in two minutes. I took a little bit more time because I wanted to refine it. But as you get good with Photoshop and the tools, you can do this within a minute. I hope this tutorial was very helpful and exciting. Please do like, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future uploads.
for your information. I'll be posting one video every day. So be on the lookout for it. Also share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.